Can you find the measure of the longest side? How long it is? Thanks to Pythagorean theorem, the job become easy. This given triangle is a right triangle. A right triangle has two legs, let's label it as leg A and leg B. The longest side is called the hypotenuse, let's label it as C. Aside from it is the longest side, the hypotenuse, also faces the right angle. Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the two legs. Let's use the formula. Substitute. Simplify. Get the square root of the both sides. And, we get c equals 5. Did you know? Pythagorean theorem was discovered by Pythagoras. He was born in Samos Ionia in c 570 BCE. He was a Greek philosopher and mathematician. His central belief is, all is number. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. What's next in the pattern? The next number is obtained by adding up the two numbers before it. This sequence is called Fibonacci sequence. Why Fibonacci sequence? This is to honor the person who discovered it. He was Leonardo of Pisa, an Italian mathematician who lived around C1170 in Pisa, Italy. How he discovered the sequence? Fibonacci sequence was the outcome of a mathematical problem about rabbit breeding. In every month, the number of pairs increases and the pattern goes like 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. Other works. 1. Liber Abbasi or Book of the Abacus. 2. Practica Geometriae or the Practice of Geometry. 3. Liber Quadratorum or the Book of Square Numbers. 4. Floss or the Flower. Log of 32 to the base of 2 is equal to x. Solve for the value of x. A logarithm is just an exponent. To solve it, change the logarithm into its exponential form. 2 is our base. x is the exponent. So we have, 2 raised to x equals 32. What should be the value x to make the equation true? That is 5. 2 raised to the 5th power is 32. Therefore, log of 32 to the base of 2 is 5. Did you know? Logarithms were invented by John Napier. He was a Scottish mathematician and theological writer. He was born in 1550 in Merkiston Castle, Scotland. He began working on logarithms around 1594. His works on logarithms are inside the two treatises. 1. Merifici Logarithmorum Canonis Descriptio or Description of the Marvelous Canon of Logarithms. 2. Merifici Logarithmorum Canonis Constructio or Construction of the Marvelous Canon of Logarithms. This is a pendulum clock. It is a mechanical device that relies on a pendulum swinging as its timekeeping element. This invention greatly increased the accuracy of time measurement. Did you know? Pendulum clock was invented by Christian Huygens. He was a Dutch mathematician, astronomer, and physicist. He was born on April 14, 1629 in The Hague, Netherlands. Other contributions 1. Founded the wave theory of light. 2. Discovered the true shape of the rings of Saturn. Pierre de Fermat was a French lawyer born on August 1601 in Beaumont de Lomaine. He studied at the University of Orleans where he earned his degree in civil law. He was a lawyer by profession and took mathematics as a hobby only. Working with Blaise Pascal, he became the co-founder of the theory of probability. He was the father of modern number theory. In fact, most of his works are concentrated in number theory. Here are some. 1. Fermat numbers and Fermat primes. 2. Fermat's little theorem. Let p be a prime which does not divide the integer a, then a raised to p minus 1 congruent to 1 modulo p. 3. Fermat's last theorem. This states that x raised to n plus y raised to n equals z raised to n has no solutions in positive integers x, y, z with n greater than 2.